Welcome to the Cannons Flash Recap Show. This is the first episode where we're going to preview Season 4. I'm your host, Terry. This is something new I'm trying this year. I've podcasted before with a Flash Recap, but we're going to dive into some TV shows this year, and I'm excited to do one of the only TV shows I actually follow, The Flash. So, before we get into Season 4, I'm going to kind of recap uh, real quick my thoughts on the other seasons. And then we'll get into what I want for season four. So to start off season one, I would say the three things that stick out to me. Number one, really like Barry Allen. This was a time where Barry was upbeat. He was optimistic, which you don't always have to be. But it was just so different from what we had with the Arrow. The CW universe was young. The Arrow was real brooding. And he was annoying because Oliver Queen's not like that in the comics. And so you got a real different style and tone with the Flash. Not only with Barry, but his interactions with the team, how they made jokes, and it was just more fun. But this was before Barry went dumb, and he just kind of, he was gung-ho, naive, but he was a good, you know, guy that you wanted to root for. Number two, loved Harrison Wells, a.k.a. Eobard Thorne, a.k.a. Reverse Flash. The whole season set up around him was amazing. His performance was amazing. Um, the dynamic and the whole concept of the mentor actually being the villain really was next level groundbreaking for the TV world. And it made it such a great, interesting show to watch every week. Even after you figured out who he was, it was waiting for the team to figure it out that made it exciting. And then number three, the Flash universe. Just seeing the origin story. A lot of people say, I'm tired of origin stories or whatever. I love origin stories. I'm a big why guy. I want to know the why behind it. So I don't care if Spider-Man for the hundredth time, as long as you do it in a different, unique, visual way or whatever. And then you got to set up your world. You got to set up the rules of the world. And so really getting to see the metahumans were all from the particle accelerator explosion. And a lot of their powers had to do with what was going on when it happened. So Weather Wizard got hit by lightning. The uh, poisonous gas guy was in the gas chamber. Things like that. It was just really fun to set up the world of the Flash. And uh, just get to see how everything worked with metahumans. Whereas in the, uh, Arrow, it was a lot more realistic based. Uh, but overall, Flash, I mean, season one is not much you can say. It was an amazing season. That's what started this whole craze. Season two, the three things that stick out to me, I liked Zoom. I had a love-hate relationship with Zoom, I'll say. Uh, Zoom looked great. The whole black, the blue lightning. He looked scary. The voice they chose to go with. And his intro in which he came in and destroyed Barry Allen. Drug him around town. Like, hey, this y'all hero. And just threw him to the police. Like, look, ain't nobody y'all got messing with me. He set the tone early. That was amazing. Um, but then, the thing with Zoom is that towards the end, I didn't r- really buy his motive. It didn't make any sense to me. Uh, like his whole background, how he became Zoom was good because I thought they went way darker. Speaking of the tone of season one, they went way darker. And him watching his mom get killed and being in the mental home, all that, it was dark. It was good. I was like, okay, I can dig him being evil, but why did he want to steal Barry's power? Why did he want to steal Speech to Speed? It was just like, I don't know. It sounded like he wanted to destroy the whole world. It just didn't come together at the end. So, you know, that was disappointing. Uh, so love hate relationship. Um, Earth two. So you expanded, or I would say multiverse. I say so the multiverse. Another love hate. You got to see Joe singing, having fun. You got to see Killer Frost, Deathstorm, Reverb. You got to see Barry Allen that wasn't the Flash. All that good stuff. I like the trip to Earth two and the concept of Earth two bringing Harry over. So we had a reason to have Tom Cavano again. That was fun, but I think they did too much. Like, they went back to Earth 2 a little too many times, and then this whole multiverse idea kind of started creating excuses that didn't need to happen, like Grodd going to Gorilla City, things like that. I didn't think it was egregious. 
I think it was much worse in season three, but season two kind of opened up Pandora's box where now we can travel between the multiverse. Now we can go grab Supergirl. It, it was just, I think it was a love hate type thing. Um, but overall, I, I thought it was the episodes were actually fun when they went to Earth two and having Harry here who Kavanaugh did an amazing job of being Harrison Wells, but a different Harrison Wells without losing the essence of who he was. I thought that was great. And then the third thing about season two, uh, we had Zoom, we had Earth 2, but then I, I just thought the whole expansion of the universe uh, as far as what Flash can be was fun. And what I mean by that is that you had great episodes where Harry Harrison Wells was playing reverse Flash for Grodd to trick him. You had the episode where Flash or Barry went back in time to last year, the last season, and Harrison Wells, so we got to see Kavanaugh be Harrison Wells from season one, and then he's like, he immediately knows it's Barry. He's like, that means I didn't win, I should kill you. Like, that was a great episode. Um, it, it was a lot of fun things I thought they did with the mythology of the Flash. And overall, season two was a mixed bag for me. A lot of good moments, great moments. But a lot of stuff, you know, with the Wally West and the Jesse, okay, whatever. I didn't like what they did with Hunter Zolomon and Zoom. Like, the comics, it was such a departure. I like the comics better. I think the dark, twisted Zoom was okay. But I think it was much better when he was kind of a villain from the future because of something that happened. You know, read it. It's a long thing, but... I, I didn't like how they twisted that so much, it, uh, and because uh, it never gave Zoom a real reason to hate the Flash. That's why I didn't like it. Uh, but yeah, so season three, <laughs> three things that stick out: hated Barry, hated um, I forgot his name, Savitar in Alchemy, everything about it. Hated Flashpoint. So you had the most perfect opportunity with one of the most creative, expansive stories in the comic universe with Flashpoint. You didn't have to follow the comics or the movie. You could have just did so many different things with Flashpoint. And what do you do? One episode that was stupid. Not only the concept of it that Barry was stuck in the Speed Force Season 2, which was another good episode. He learned these lessons he grew up over two seasons and did the same thing he was going to do in season one and went back and saved his mom. And season one, I gar- I, I'll go back to that. When he went back in the finale to save his mom and didn't, shocker, I did not think they had the guts to go and do that to make him hold back and say no. I was like, wow, he's the Flash. He's not, you know, young, dumb Barry. But then in season two, he's young, dumb Barry, where he goes and saves his mom, doesn't make any sense. Especially in the season or a season after you went back in time, changed one thing, and so much changed. You knew change in time would do that. So, oh, Barry was dumb. He just kept time traveling, kept, like, ruining people's lives just to help his. Savitar was so stupid. Number one, Savitar's intro was a ripoff of Zooms. They tried to take it to a higher level, but it was too close to Zoom that it wasn't different and it just looked stupid. I didn't care. I think also him being a big CGI transformer didn't help. Zoom felt like a dude, like going one-on-one with Barry. This monster-looking thing, we didn't know what he was. Then, Savitar makes no sense. I'm talking about from the suit, never explain. I'm talking about from the Philosopher's Stone, makes no sense. Dr. Alchemy could give people powers. If that was his power, fine. But we find out it's Julian. Julian has no idea it's alchemy. Julian has no power. How does he able to give people powers? Makes no sense. And then the whole Savitar's future Barry, which about... 60% 60% of the fans figured out halfway through the season. And so that was disappointing. And then they tried to explain how he could be Barry in the future Savitar makes no sense. So that was just, that was super. <sighs> A lot of things about season three really suck, to be honest with you. 
Um, I absolutely hated it. It went downhill. It, it sucks. I rewatched it about two times already, and it, it just is a bad season. There's so many frustrating moments, and you don't care about Wally and Kid Flash. You don't care about Jesse Quick. There's too many speedsters. It, it's just a mess overall. So, unfortunately, the, the series has been on a decline. Uh, season three is rock bottom. And so, we come into season four where Barry went into the Speed Force to take the place of Jay Garrick. And Barry's gone. Now, for me, my number one thing with this season, because it's a long season, you don't know what's going to happen. But my number one thing was start off without Barry. Show us what the team can do without Barry, what they've been doing without Barry. And then bring Barry back in a dramatic, big fashion. Doesn't seem like that's going to happen with the off-season photos, interviews, trailers. It seems Barry's coming back episode one. So that's disappointing. Super disappointing. I thought it was a good opportunity to let the characters breathe, let the stories breathe, and really make us miss Barry. But they're clearly not going to do that. Um, and that sucks. That That kind of sucks. So... The one good thing, though, is Barry is supposed to come back new and improved, and that's what I thought this was an opportunity to do. But now they're saying he might have amnesia. He doesn't know who he is, so he's improved, but he might not be himself. I'm not interested in that. I don't need that. I really don't need that at this point. Uh, so we'll see how that plays out. The overall villain is not a speedster. That's the huge thing. People are tired of speedsters. Zoom was the same story as number one, the mentor being whatever, and then season three was just, okay, now I'm the villain. It was stupid. <laughs> and so I I just, I, I'm, wait, I'm going to wait and see what the villain is. I'm going to wait and see how they do the thinker. I really want to know what how they treat the villains. I want to get back to classic villains from The Flash. Like, let, uh, I don't know how you can do code, but let the rogues kind of come back. Let the the meta humans from the particle accelerator come back, and not all these Earth two, Earth fifty people come in, and you know we got people from the future who hate you in the future come back. Let's skip all that. Let's keep it on the ground. But let Barry be smart. The problem with Barry being smart and being a Flash is that that means you don't need a team Flash, especially a team where everybody has powers. But at the same time, I, I think you we're at a point Barry has to step up. The problems of this season can no longer come from Barry being stupid. Because at this point, you don't even like Barry. And that's a problem. So, they got to just be creative. That's I mean, it's vague because I don't know what they want to do this season. But what I want to see, I don't want to see a lot of multiverse traveling. I want to see us stick on Earth 1. I want to see uh, Barry really start to take hold of what it means to be a hero and what it means to be the Flash and be the leader that he's supposed to be. And I love Tom Cavanaugh. I actually liked him as HR better because he wasn't, like, helping Barry all the time and, you know, doing it for him. He was more kind of a motivator. So hopefully they find a way where he's not the lead. That I think he's going to be Harry from Earth 2. Hopefully he's not the lead. Hopefully, Barry steps up as the leader, and yeah, that's as much as I could ask for, but anyway, so tell me what you think about season four. What do you want out of it? Go to the comment section, let me know. I'll be recapping every Tuesday uh, when we got an episode all season long. Check it out. Thumbs up, subscribe, and if you heard it here, it's official canon.